Karen. And I'm Barbara, and we're the Sync Sisters. So today we're going to take a look at iOS 11's markup feature. Yeah. Now this is a feature that's been around for a while in a few different applications, but really with iOS 11, it's everywhere and everybody's talking about it. Right. And so we thought we should do a video so you understand what you can do with the markup feature and where to find it in the different apps on your iPad or your iPhone. Great. Let's take a look. So now we have our iPad up and we're going to go ahead and show you um, some of the different places you'll see markup. Um, one place is mail. If I tap on mail and bring it up, if you have a mail um, message that has a PDF in it like this one, if I tap on the PDF and bring it up, you'll see up here in the upper right, it's the circle with the pen tip. Now, one thing to note is the circle with the pen tip is going to be in all different places depending on where you are. Right, so right. keep an eye out for it. If I tap on it, you can see it has my, my full... Uh, markup features. Another place to look for the um, instant markup would be in the all new files app. Right. If I tap on that, bring it up. If I tap on a a, a message or a file, oh, I mean. A file, <laughs> right. It could be a PDF, it could be a JPEG. Right. There it is, the circle with the pen tool. If I tap on that, you can see it brings up all my features. And um, another place that you can look at it is Notes. notes is a great place. If I bring yeah. up my note, here I have a note already open. Oh, and I already had it up. Okay, close Let me it. get rid of it. <laughs> there it is. You can tell we're practicing, right? Right. It takes a lot of work to bring these videos to you. Um, here's the circle with the pen in it. I tap on that. brings up my, my markup features. And I think one of the greatest places is the Photos app. We all love photos and editing and marking them up. And look at this adorable picture of Ollie. Oh, oh isn't he so cute? cute? Out okay. on the boat. <laughs> Out on the boat. So, so uh, in the Photos app, it's great to be able to mark things up and add text because we, we haven't been able to do that before. Right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, and you've got your photo up here. I'm going to tap on Edit in the upper right, and it's going to come up. And we have to hunt for it here. I don't see the pen tip. Ah, yes. Okay. Not as easy as the other Not apps. Not as easy as the other <laughs> apps. But you see the dot, dot, dot. Which, which is, is an ellipse. Ellipse. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A viewer commented. Yes, we did viewer not commented. Calling it dot, dot, dot. <laughs> the ellipse mark. Yes. You tap on that. It's the more button. And look what comes up. It's showing me apps that I can go into, but there's markup. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It does turn off live photos. I'm going to say that's fine. Turn it off, and it if comes you, up. If you, for some reason, wanted to keep a live photo, you could make a copy first. You could. You could make a duplicate. Good good point to point out there. So here we have, up on the screen, the tools along the bottom. And we're just going to start on the left with the first one, which is the pen. And notice, when I select it, it popped up higher. That means that's the tool we're working with right now. Right. There's pen. Um, and then <clears throat> over to the right, you're going to see all the colors. So that's the first thing we're going to do is just pick... A a different you, color. Basic colors. Right. right. Basic colors. So you can come out and you could, you know, type something. You could say, you know, Ollie. You could type his name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's one thing that you can do. Um, the next one is a highlighting tool. So I can come out onto the screen and I could highlight something. Now, of course, with a photo, this isn't yeah, going to make much right. sense. But right. if you're doing um, a document, highlight right. a sentence. I'm going to highlight his nose so there you, you can go. kind of see that it's see-through <laughs> so you can still see the sentence right. or whatever's underneath it. The next one is a pencil tool. This one is, is similar to the um, pen tool, but it's a pencil. You can actually see the little shards of, right. you know, supposedly yep. lead. So that's kind of interesting. And then the next one is an eraser. Very handy. You just tap on the things that you want to erase. Yeah. Now it'll do it by uh, object. So you can see it took away the whole highlight. If I tap here, it's going to take away the O and then the L. And so it's just going to take oh, it away that. that way. Take away his nose, too. He looks so Oh, weird. yeah. Take away his nose. <laughs> The next one is the, I actually have to come oh, out and draw right. a few shapes. So let me Sorry. come out with the highlighter and draw, oh, let me get the pen out here and draw some lines. And I'm kind of purposely crossing them over so you can see how this tool really works. Um, with the lasso tool, mm -hmm. some call it the magic rope, but um, from our Adobe days, we're calling it the lasso yes, tool because days. that's what it is. So you come out and you just lasso around um, whatever object you've lassoed around. Now you can pick it up. You Isn't that move, cool? Yeah, you can move it. And it must work, work the way that you drew it. It must remember that, you know? Right, right, exactly. So you can pick it up and move it around. Or you can pick up... You don't have it selected. Whoops. You had the eraser. I had the eraser. Okay. But we can undo. Down the lower left okay. is an arrow. We can hit undo. So you can see we've got undo and redo. 
those are those two arrows in the lower corner. That's perfect. I'm going to lasso around these two, two objects, and now I can pick up, oops, got to get right on it. you got to stay within that area, and you can pick those up, and you can move them somewhere that else. That is really impressive. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, erase these things. So I'm going to go ahead and erase them just by tapping on them. And I'm going to show you a couple of other features, which are under the plus sign. Perfect. Now, most places you can get all the functionality of markup. Some places you're only going to get these few tools right. who are out here. So if you don't see the plus, you just don't have that option right. in the program. Under the plus, the first thing is the text box. This is very nice because we can come in here, tap on it. Double and tap. we can double tap and we can say Love being um, on the water. Mm -hmm. On the water. Fine. Okay. Let me get out of the keyboard. So now you can see it. I can pick it up and move it around. And I can do a couple of different things. You'll see in the lower right hand corner I have a double A. And if I tap on that, these are my text tools. Oh fun. So I can come in, I could change the typeface. You get a few. F fonts. Three fonts. <laughs> yeah. You have a serif, a sans serif, and kind of a fun one. And then you can make it bigger or smaller. Now notice it's kind of it's yeah. cutting it off, but I can come out on the screen and grab the blue dot and, then, and widen it out. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I love it. All right. Um, and then I also could center it or left center it or justify it. Right. And I'll leave it centered in this case. Okay. Maybe I'll make it a tiny bit bigger. All right. Okay, come out. I'm going to make that over a little. Okay. And then another feature that we have in here, I'm going to skip down to the bottom because these are the shape. The shapes. Okay, we got your square, your circle, but this is the one. We yeah. Want. We want the, the talking dog. Yeah, we want right. the talking dog. We want the talking <laughs> dog. You get on the blue buttons, <clears throat> you size it, you can get on the green here and you could change. You it's know, really if this isn't in the right angle, I'm going to go ahead and we happen okay. to be in the right angle. I'm going to take my. Tap, off, tap of it. off of it. Tap on the type. Oh, maybe you got to go underneath. I might have to go underneath there. I got the type now and move it up here. Okay. Right. But I'll change the color of that type to blue. Isn't that cute? Easy. So that's <laughs> a lot of fun. We're so easily <laughs> amused, aren't we? Yeah. Now there are a couple of other serious things you might yes. want to do here. And those are signature um, and magnifier. So you can come in here and you can grab one of your signatures that you've already got um, within the system. Now, mine have come over directly from um, your Mac. My Mac. Yeah. I, I added them in preview a few years ago right. when the markup feature first came some out. Of the Acrobat. Yeah. Well, no, it has to be an Apple product. So it's not oh, going to work okay. Acrobat. Oh, good Remember, thing to point out. Remember, this is the Apple ecosystem Apple. here. All right. So. so think Apple. So you can go in and you could grab one of them. Yep. Oops. I go back in there. Got a little off mark. A little crazy. And tap on it. And it'll bring it out onto the screen. So if you need to add your initial or right. you need to sign a document, it's an easy thing. What to if you do. don't have a signature already created? Well, then you can create one, and I'll show you how to do that. Oops. Let me delete this. Okay. So we go in here to signature at the bottom. You can add or remove a signature. It'll bring this up where you can delete signatures. I don't know. I have two of these. So I'm going to delete those. But I can tap on plus. And come up and I can just sign it. my name. No, if I had my Apple Pen here. Yeah, you can. You can just do your sign. You right. Clear it if you didn't do it right. You can do it again, however you want to do it. Okay. Okay, so that's kind of nice. So I guess I should just do that and show it coming up in the list. Done. Done. And there it is out here, but it'll right. also remain in our list now. Right. And you can top. change the color of that too, You can right? change the color of your signature. Make it yep. white. Move it around. Whoops. Oopsie. Undo that. Yep. Tap on it. I didn't have it tapped on and make it white so you can see yep. it. Perfect. Okay. That is so great. There's one more thing to show. Yes. Hold on. One more thing. Let me get rid of, you know, when any of these objects that are on the screen, if you just tap on them, you're going to get the, I don't know what you call the little um, menu. Sub menus. Sub menus. Context menus. Here I can duplicate or delete. You know, if I tap on these, you're going to see that. You know what it's like on the way. Mac? If you hold down the control key, yes. it brings up a sub menu. Yes. Yes. Um, the other thing I wanted to do is it's just draw just draw a circle out here, and then you notice that we have a circle and a square down here on the right okay. now. When we did type, we had the A's there, and now you can pick the thickness. Oh, fun! Of what you want it to be, and you can pick if it's a filled circle or not. Oh, I love it. Or square or whatever shape you've got. I'm gonna go ahead and tap mm -hmm. on it, bring up the sub menu, and delete it. 
because I want to show you that with um, a line too. So if I had an arrow, if I was denoting something, right, to tap back on it, up. again, I could make it any of these arrowheads. Oh, that's awesome. A double arrowhead. I can make it thinner or thicker, depending on what it is that I want to denote. Lots of features. Really great features. I'm going to go ahead and um, tap on it, see if I can get my submenu up and get yep, rid of it. Get rid Delete of it. it. Okay. And now you want to show magnifying, right? Oh, yeah. Another advanced you feature magnifying. under you the plus yeah. is magnifier. Right. If I tap on it, it brings up this little circle, and I can put it anywhere I want. <laughs> and this is kind of fun. you got to get over the right. That's, that The green one is, okay, so the blue one is making your magnification area bigger. Yep. The green one. I think you pulled inner. Oh, oh, where'd it go? The green one is making the magnification more or less. I think you're dragging. Then it find, yeah, you're just dragging it around. Dragging it around the circle to make it more or less <laughs> magnified. That's fun. <laughs> that looks I, crazy. But I don't like it. Um, no, we're gonna delete it. We're gonna just delete tap it. on it to but the submenu. That could be handy in, in many applications. Yes, in a document, you might want to be just highlighting right. an area and say, you know, yeah, read right. this. Yeah. So then. Um, the markup features, uh, if you want to share them. Okay, well, first of all, in here, it's a little bit different because we're in the Photos mm -hmm. app. So I'm just going to say done, and it's saving it right back to the Photos app, okay? Okay. Let's go out of here. And isn't that cute? I love it. And I didn't have to go to a third-party app no. to do it. So now you can be silly and post it on Facebook or That's Instagram. Right. That's <laughs> right. But let's go into the Notes <laughs> app and say that, you know, we've... Well, no, let's go into... Um, files. Let's go into the Files app, yep. And let's here we're already in a markup um, here, right. and now you can show the share right. options at the top right. And this will be any you know different place, probably by the pen, the circle in the pen. If you hit share, that's how you can share it. And you have your external sharing. You know, you can share it to OneNote or Twitter or, or Facebook or Pinterest. Yeah. You know, whatever you have set up, and your internal things like you can copy it or you can print it or save it, right. all things like that. Right. So you have a lot of ability to mark up documents. And again, it's all over the place yeah. in the Apple ecosystem. Right. So it's on your phone, it's on yep. your iPad, it's on your Mac. Look for the pen tip and right. uh, make your editing easy. Thanks for learning with Six Sisters. Well, thanks for watching our video today. We so love making these videos and bringing you this free content, but we do need your support. Right, so how can you support us? First of all, don't skip the commercials. That's how any creator makes money on YouTube. Um, like our video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And another great way is to go to our website using the link on the screen and um, shop through our Amazon link. Same secure Amazon shopping that you love at no extra cost, but it really helps support us to bring you these great videos. Right, so thanks for learning with us and thanks for supporting us.